Harry and Meghan's horror mentory has officially been released and after watching all three episodes in a row, I can tell you that this is much bigger than the Opera interview. For starters, they consider the Commonwealth to be just a British Empire 2.0, which essentially is saying that Queen Elizabeth II's 70 years of service are worth nothing. But that is a topic that I will be covering on my Royal Road channel. Here, in terms of battle language, perhaps the most relevant clip from these three episodes is the moment when Meghan decides to make fun of when she met Harry's grandmother. And I want you to think about that last sentence, not in a royal family way, but in a personal way. How would you feel if your partner made fun of the moment they met your grandmother? You might think that Harry was okay with this, but his reaction is far from amused and will give us solid insights in the Harkle's current relationship status. Let's get down to it. Welcome back, my battle language buddies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the battle language guy. And before we get started, just a quick reminder that I'm publishing exclusive content about how to overcome narcissistic abuse and how to avoid being manipulated in the first place on my locals community. You can join for free using the link in the description of this video. So the reason they were talking about the curtsy is because one of the themes that Megan was decided to hammer over and over again is that she's an authentic woman that is not used to all these strange customs of the monarchy. And previous to this scene, she recalls the moment that she met William and Catherine for the first time. Let's see what can you notice in the following 10 seconds. Even when Will and Kate came over and I had met her for the first time, they came over for dinner. I remember I was in ripped jeans and I was barefoot. So you are going to meet who will possibly become your brother and sister-in-law and part of the royal family, and you are in ripped jeans and barefoot? I'm sure that she did not meet her Soho friends this way. But this is something that narcissists do. She knows that this is going to be a bit of a shock for William and Catherine. She doesn't even know them, but she has the idea that she could use that reaction somewhere down the line. And we're going to see that she did another thing that will make them uncomfortable. It's like I was a hugger, I've always been a hugger. I didn't realize that that is really a jarring for a lot of Brits. So she was meeting William and Catherine for the first time as she went straight for a hug. I don't know about you, but this is not a British thing or an American thing or even a Latin American thing. Uh, the first time you're meeting someone, like going straight for a hug is a bit too intimate and it's something that fits with the description of love bombing that narcissists do. In fact, it's the way that they force this being charming or and warm and all this facade. And if you don't correspond to them, at some point they will call you cold or distant or something. Let's pretend that this doesn't have to do anything with the fact that Diana was a great hugger to everyone, but it must be just a coincidence. I guess I'd started to understand very quickly that the formality on the outside carried through on the inside. What she meant with this word salad is that she was authentic from the inside and projected that on the outside. But the royals, in this case William and Catherine, were all this stiff and cold on the outside and it creeped down inside of them. So inside they are like robots, like coal. This is how she sets up the narrative that she came to, you know, modernize the monarchy and it was with her big heart and her warmth. Now we enter in the situation of the curtsy itself and trigger warning, the following remarks by Harry can be, well, a bit upsetting for my beloved American audiences. But how do you explain that to people? How do you explain that you bow to your grandmother? And that, and that you will need to curtsy, especially to an American. Like, that's weird. Yeah, especially to an American. Harry is implying that Americans are stupid and uneducated and can't understand that other countries have customs and, you know, their own cultures. Like when you go to Japan and you bow as a sign of politeness. And I don't understand why Megan had so much trouble understanding this if she has a degree on international relations. Makes you wonder what kind of international relations did she study? But this is the part that we've been looking for. The part that she mocks the moment she curtsies in front of the Queen for the first time. She's 
meeting Harry's grandmother and this happens. We have medieval times, dinner and tournament. It was like that, like I curtsied as though I was and she does that. All right, she goes all the way and when she rises, she's got that face. Pleasure to meet you, your majesty, and she is, well, I, I can't begin to tell you the way she is forcing that smile in such a way that is insulting. It's tasteless. It's a fake smile, and she's doing it not like, oh, I, I was uh, doing such a blunder, I didn't know what I was doing. No, it's to the person she was facing. It's to the queen in this case, to Harry's grandmother. And the first part of Harry's reaction tells me that he knew what was coming. Look at him. He is serious, even if Meghan is speaking quite, well, I don't know, happily, joyfully. But there's no connection, no empathy in him. He is quite serious, maybe even angry. And notice what happens with his throat. He's gonna swallow. He's swallowing at that moment. It moves. You see it, right? I go back and forth, and you can see his throat moving because he is swallowing. There is a certain emotional reaction. I think he knows what's coming. And this is Megan doing the movement. And let's zoom in on Harry's face to see what happened. I'm gonna just lock these two brackets here and go straight for Harry's face. And we're going to try to spot any changes. Notice what happens here. There is absolutely no feedback of a smile or getting the joke or being comfortable with this. His face is absolutely serious. And pay attention to the left side of his face. I'm going to go very slowly back and forth and notice how there is an expression of contempt. You might remember that contempt is a smile that shows in only in one side of the face. Look at this. Pay attention to his left side there it goes a contempt right there he is looking at megan and he displays contempt a split second after that he looks away and presses his jaw he's looking away and tenses his jaw at that moment he is maybe ashamed maybe angry but there is definitely an emotional reaction and he is not liking it. It is not joy, it is not happiness, it is not being amused, nothing at all. And let's be honest, it's quite embarrassing what Megan did at that point. And I'm sure that she planned that all the way and said, hey, do not cut any of it. Just show the full curtsy. So Harry is looking away, he is not smiling and it's when Megan looks at him or he establishes eye contact with Megan that he tries to force a smile, but uh, no, it is, it is not genuine. And what happens immediately after? He looks down. And what had happened exactly before he looked down? Well, Megan had her mocking face. Harry could not stand this and just had to look away. That's what happened. There's another detail that I'm sure you missed that is Harry's skin tone before and after Meghan mocks the curtsy. Here you can see certain skin tone. I'm gonna try to show you this in the video first and then we're gonna see it side by side. And then we're gonna jump right till the end so you can see her a different skin tone, redder. I haven't changed anything, any values. This is ripped directly from the Netflix horror mentory. And you can see here, I prepared this. I'm gonna fit this. I prepared this side by side. This is before Megan does the curtsy. You can see the patches of natural red on his face. And right after when he's forcing this smile, because you know, Megan is doing that mocking, tasteless joke about the queen. You can see that the patches of red on his face are much redder. Both the cheeks, the bridge of the nose, the temples have these patches of blood and it could be that he feels ashamed or he feels angry. What do you think it is? This was only like what? 
20 seconds in total of content from three hours of the first three episodes. And so much has been said mocking Americans, mocking British culture, mocking the royal family, mocking Queen Elizabeth II, and mocking, of course, Harry's grandmother. Every second of this was scripted and approved by both Meghan and Harry. So we are watching something that they both agreed upon, but Harry can't help but release or display or reveal those true emotions that he feels towards his wife. And I'm gonna tell you why this is covered anger and not being ashamed. If he was ashamed, he would have a smile a bit more, like have a nervous laughter or something. Something to add some, hey, yes, I'm on the joke. But he knew what was coming and he couldn't stand it. And that's why he had that face at the beginning and had that subtle swallow right before Megan did that. They had rehearsed that part. He knew what was coming. He knew that this was the moment of truth. And maybe Megan did the most tasteless curtsy that she could come up with. Congratulations, Harry. This is what you wanted, right? And just in case you are not convinced that Megan did this on purpose, nothing beats watching her on slow motion. Yeah, there you go. If I had to watch it, you have to watch it too. I think that's fair. Now, I want to make it clear. This might be what Megan wanted, but this has the blessing of Harry. So he is into the joke and into the seriousness of whatever they said in these first three episodes. So stay tuned, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming analysis on this and the volume two that will be produced or uploaded on December 15. My Battle Language Buddies, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas, I'm the Battle Language Guy, and remember to download my 100 Battle Language Tips right in the description of this video. Much love and bliss.